And what I realized that what I was doing, what allowed me to be so driven, but minimize my confidence, is that I was spending 100% of my time on 10% of who I was. I was spending 100% of my time on 10% of who I was and expecting 100% of my fulfillment. That's what happened to me. That's when I crashed and burned. So I went on this journey of uncovering Sherry. How do you fill that gap? And what I discovered is what I call exponential living. Exponential living is pursuing peace, choosing clarity, and living courageously. And that's why I actually wrote this book, the book that Angie referenced, Exponential Living. Stop spending 100% of your time on 10% of who you are. Because again, I realized I was not an anomaly. I was more the norm. I was more the norm. I had men coming up to me saying, Sherry, don't tell anybody this, but I struggle every day. I'm the man. I cover my family. I run my business. But if I'm honest, I don't have a clue about who I am. My wife wants to connect. My children want to connect. And I want to, but I'm afraid to take the mask off. This is men. This is men telling me this. I had my athletes who are Hall of Famers coming to me saying, Sherry, I don't know who I am because I've never taken the time to. Why would I? Why would I? I'm the provider. And so I realized that on this journey of writing this book, Exponential Living, is that when we focus on the personal development, it allows our professional growth to advance.